Hey guys, YouTube World Hunter here. Okay, and now, as I said I was going to do now, I'm going to be giving my thoughts on night one of WrestleMania 39. So, uh, yeah, so, uh, as I'm, uh, filming this, uh, uh, night one, uh, just, uh, ended about, uh, about like, uh, 45 minutes ago as I'm, uh, recording this. Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, night one of WrestleMania tonight... It really was a pretty great, yeah, I mean, I really did enjoy, uh, tonight, like, uh, yeah, this really was a pretty good show tonight, like, yeah, pretty much, like, all the matches were uh, pretty good tonight, so, yeah, I really can't find, like, really much to complain about tonight, it really was, like, a very enjoyable show tonight, like, I really did enjoy it a lot, yeah, I mean, just a lot of the matches really just did have, like, a lot of, like, really big, like, excitement to them, <laughs> like, you really did, like, really get into the matches, and, yeah, I mean, there were just, like, so many times, like, tonight where, like, a lot of the matches, you really did think that they were really going to end, and, yeah, and they didn't. And so, yeah, a lot. So, yeah, so, really just, tonight really was, like, a very, very enjoyable show. Yeah. So, yeah, so, tonight there were, uh, and there were, uh, seven scheduled matches on uh, tonight's show, but, of course, like, if you did watch, uh, night, uh, WrestleMania tonight, uh, there was, like, one impromptu match that was made. Yeah, but yeah, there were seven scheduled matches tonight, and yeah, and as far as uh, how they went for my predictions, if you did watch uh, the predictions video that I did make last night, uh, tonight for my predictions, I went a uh, five for seven, so yeah, so tonight I did do uh, pretty good with my predictions, yeah, so uh, yeah, so just, yeah, so I really just don't know what else to really say, like tonight really was like a a pretty great show, and I really did enjoy tonight a lot. Yeah. So, yeah. So, I guess I'll just uh, go through uh, the matches tonight. Yeah. So, yeah. So, so uh, tonight's show, like, uh, opened up with uh, the U.S. title on the line with Austin Theory defending against John Cena. Yeah. And, yeah. And this overall, it was a, a pretty decent match. Yeah. You know, like, uh, whenever John Cena would gain the upper hand, like, tonight, like, Austin Theory would, like, you, he used, like, some pretty dirty tactics. He actually did bite John Cena at a couple points in the match, yeah. Yeah, and yeah, and it really did go back and forth. Uh, Austin Theory was able to, like, uh, counter some of John Cena's moves. Like, he, uh, Austin Theory did counter the FU at a couple of points, yeah. Then, yeah, then at one point, like, late in the match, like, uh, the referee accidentally got bumped, and then John Cena actually did have uh, Austin Theory in the STFU, and Austin Theory did tap, but the referee's, like, still was, like, a dazed, yeah. Then, yeah, then as the referee then, like, was a recovering, then, like, uh, same, um, Austin Theory then uh, nailed John Cena with a low blow and then hit his finisher on John Cena. And Austin Theory won. So, yeah. So, it was quite surprising. Like, I was really thinking that John Cena really was going to win this match. But, yeah. Austin Theory did actually uh, defeat John Cena. So, yeah. So, this really was a pretty big feat for Austin Theory. <laughs> yeah. Like, ever since, like, uh, Vince, like, had... Vince retired last year. They WWE has really been like a uh, using uh, Austin Theory in a like a really different style. Yeah, and it's like he actually really is like being done. Like they act, he actually is like being taken seriously now. Yeah, and yeah, I mean, yeah, and defeating John Cena tonight. This really was like a pretty big feat for him. So yeah, <sighs> so yeah, so Austin Theory ended up retaining. Yeah. Then, yeah, then, uh, the next match of the night was, uh, the, uh, men's WrestleMania Showcase Fatal 4-Way Tag Match with, uh, Braun Strowman and Ricochet against the Alpha Academy, against the Viking Raiders, against the Street Profits. Now, and, yeah, and this really was, like, pretty good. Like, just all eight guys really just, like, were going at it with each other throughout this entire thing. Like, there was, like, that awesome spot where, like, uh, and there was, like, the electric chair and double superplex, so, oh, yeah, that really was a pretty awesome spot, yeah, and, yeah, and it did get, like, kind of, real, kind of good towards the end, where, like, uh, you had, like, Braun Strowman, like, running, like, around the outside of the ring, like, just knocking everybody down, but then, yeah, then he got, like, a, a taken down by, a, it was, like, either Angelo Dawkins or Montez Ford, forgot who, yeah, then, yeah, then, it was pretty cool, Ricochet actually did, like, a shooting star press, 
like directly from the top rope. Yeah. But yeah, then as he tried to go for another one, like the Street Profits then like caught the knees up and then hit their finishers and then the Street Profits ended up winning. So yeah, so like I said, like I did pick a uh, Braun Strowman and Rick Shade to win, but I also said like uh like they like they the Street Profits also could have won. Yeah, and it turned out that they did. So yeah, so I probably should have picked the Street Profits. I probably should have like uh trusted my gut. But yeah, I chose uh, Braun Strowman and Ricochet. But so yeah, but the Street Profits ended up winning. So yeah, so I think maybe like this is a lesson to me that maybe next time I really should like uh trust my gut for certain situations like that, yeah, so yeah, so as the night started, I went 0 for 2, but yeah, from here on out, like, I was correct on all my predictions, yeah, like, uh, next up, like, uh, was Seth freaking Rollins versus Logan Paul, yeah, and this really was, like, a pretty awesome, uh, match as well, oh, yeah, like, this, yeah, you, you really just really did, like, have a whole bunch of excitement in this match, yeah, just, what was up with, uh, uh, Seth the freaking Rollins, uh, his, uh, his attire, though, like, what was up with that? Yeah, I mean, it really would just, like, seem like very unorthodox attire for him. Yeah, and this match really did just, like, uh, go back and forth between them. There was a whole bunch of spots where you really would have think it would have ended, but it didn't, yeah. And it just really did go, like, back and forth between them. And, yeah, Logan Paul was, like, using, like, some of the tactics that he had used on Seth Rollins, like, in the weeks prior to, uh, this match, yeah, <laughs> yeah, trying to, like, uh, knock Seth Rollins out, and trying to defeat him in that fashion, yeah, yeah, then, it showed, like, out at ringside, there was, like, a somebody in, like, a prime drink, uh, costume at ringside for Logan Paul, but then, yeah, then, it was eventually revealed that it was KSI, <laughs> so, yeah, kind of a surprise to see KSI also, Pure WrestleMania, yeah, especially, like, on Logan Paul's behalf, especially, like, since, like, Logan Paul and KSI, like, had the two boxing matches with each other, so, interesting to really see him, like, helping, uh, Logan Paul here, yeah, then, yeah, then at one point, like, as, a uh, KSI was trying to help, uh, Seth, um, Logan Paul against, uh, Seth Rollins, like, having him on the table with Seth Rollins, like, diving on top of him, yeah, it showed them how, like, uh, as uh, Logan Paul went for the dive, uh, uh, Seth freaking Rollins, like, just uh, pulled a KSI onto the table, and, and Logan Paul, like, jumped, like, uh, dove onto KSI through the announce table. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Then, yeah, then, yeah, then eventually, then, uh, yeah, uh, Seth freaking Rollins then was able to, like, uh, uh, take out, uh, Logan Paul and hit him with the curb stomp, and Seth Rollins ended up getting the win, so, yeah, so, yeah, I was very happy to see Seth freaking Rollins defeat Logan Paul here, so, yeah, so, it was great to see that, yeah, yeah, then next up, we had the six-woman tag team match with, uh, Damage Control versus, uh, Becky Lynch, Lita, and Trish Stratus, yeah, and I really did like this one, too, yeah, interesting note here, like, uh, just, Trisha's attire here, she wore the same attire tonight that she actually wore at WrestleMania 21, the last time WrestleMania went Hollywood. So, yeah, so kind of like a nice uh, little nod there. Yeah, and yeah, and this really was, like, pretty good. There were, like, a lot of, like, uh, like yeah, all six uh, women really did, like, uh, get in some really good offense here. Yeah, there were, like, some nice spots, like, on the outside of the ring where, like, somebody would, like, dive to the outside onto everyone, yeah. There was, like, this one point where, like, uh, uh, Lita and uh, Becky Lynch, like, took out uh, Bailey and I think it was uh, Eo Sky, though it may have, uh, it may have been uh, Dakota Kai, I forgot, like, which, who the other one was, but yeah. Then, like, Trish then, like, did the thing where she, like, flipped upside down and onto Kai or Sky, I forgot which one it was. That was on the top turn muggle, and did the hurricane run it to them to the uh, outside of the ring. So, yeah, so I like that. Yeah, yeah, and it really did just like a go. Uh, yeah, then like you had some nice moments with like a uh, Lita, then like hit a twist of fate on uh, I think on either Sky or Kai, I forgot which one it was, yeah, then Trish then hit a chick kick, and then, yeah, then Becky Lynch then was able to pin Bailey. so, yeah, so, Lita, 
Trish and Becky Lynch won this match, yeah? So another one I was right about, yeah? Yeah, and I really did uh, like this match. It really was like a really nice, enjoyable match. Yeah. Yeah, so really did like that one. Yeah. Yeah. Then we had Rey Mysterio versus Dominic, yeah? And, oh, man. Gosh, I just... Yeah, first, like, what was with Rey Mysterio's attire here? Like, it just seemed like very unorthodox attire for him compared to what he usually wears. Now, even his mask, it really did seem like more of, like, a helmet-like mask tonight than, like, what he usually wears, yeah? Yeah, but, yeah, this really was, like, a pretty good uh, two, yeah? Though, yeah, I do think, though, that, like, I really felt that there should have really been more heat here. Like, this really should have just been something where, like, Rey Mysterio really was just, like, something, like, doing, like, everything to really just, like, take, take down Dominic and really just, like, beat the hell out of him after everything that Dominic had done to him for the last several months. But instead, this really just kind of seemed like just something where it, it wasn't really like that. It wasn't really, like, as much as heat as you would really expect from this but this was still like a really good match here like yeah it really did go back and forth uh angie and Olia were like sitting in the front row for this match yeah and just like on smackdown last week uh dominic was once again like a uh, taunting with them at one point dominic took like a drink and threw it right in Olia's face yeah and then at another point uh dominic got into angie's face and angie actually slapped him yeah yeah, then, yeah, then, eventually, then, uh, Damian Priest and Finn Balor came down to ringside, yeah, trying to, like, uh, help Dominic win, yeah, yeah, then, yeah, then at one point, uh, yeah, Dominic then actually did hit the, uh, 619 on, uh, Rey Mysterio, yeah, though something I do find, like, kind of, like, odd, and I'm not really sure why they do it like this, is, why does Dominic do the 619 from the other side than the one that Rey Mysterio does from? When Rey Mysterio does the 619, when he goes for, like, the swinging kick, like, he actually, like, does it from the right side of the person, but Dominic has been doing it from the left side, so why is Dominic doing it on the other side? I don't really quite understand that, Yeah. But yeah, but then as Rey Mysterio then was, like, uh, gaining, like, the upper hand, then, like, a uh, uh, Finn Balor ended up, like, uh, distracting the referee, and Damian Priest then tried to get involved, but then, uh, Rey Mysterio, like, of course, I just, like, last night on SmackDown, I think, he reformed the LWO, and then, yeah, the members of the LWO then, like, uh, came down and took out, uh, Damian Priest and Finn Balor, <laughs> yeah, then, yeah, then, as, uh, the referee, like, uh, was distracted with, it, like, uh, Dominic then, like, tried, like, got a chain out from, uh, Damian Priest's jacket, and he was gonna use it on Ray, but then, like, Bad Bunny, who was, like, a uh, on, like, uh, the Spanish commentary for the match, disarmed Dominic, and then, yeah, then Rey Mysterio then hit the 619 Dominic in a frog splash, and Rey Mysterio got the win, yeah, so, yeah, so, yeah, so, yeah, Rey Mysterio did defeat Dominic here, but, yeah, I'm not sure if really, like, this whole Judgment Day angle and the rivalry with Ray and Dominic, it is going to end after this. It seems like they might actually continue it on. Yeah, so, yeah, I'm not really sure, like, what is next for Dominic and Ray Mysterio. I guess we're just gonna have to wait to see. But, yeah, while, like, this match probably really didn't have, like, the heat that it probably should have had, I do did still think that this was a pretty good match here. Yeah. And, yeah, and Ray Mysterio finally did get one up on Dominic. Yeah. Yeah. Then the uh, SmackDown Women's Championship was on the line next with uh, Charlotte Flair against Rhea Ripley. And this really was just such an awesome match right here. Like, this really did just go back and forth a, a lot. Like, uh, Rhea Ripley was able to, like, uh, uh, avoid the figure four from Charlotte, like, a whole bunch of times in the match. Yeah. And, yeah, and they just, like, there were, like, a whole bunch of big moves used in the match that the uh, they both, like, kept surviving from one another, yeah, this really just, like, was a very awesome match right here, like, just, yeah, the crowd really was, like, very into this match, like, you could tell, like, the crowd really was behind Rhea for the match, yeah, yeah, whenever, like, Charlotte would go on offense, the crowd would kind of, like, start to boo, yeah, yeah, and, yeah, and you could just see, like, when, and there were times where, like, the 
like when th there would be like a big moves used in the match end, but they would like a uh, kick out. Like you could just see like how stunned the other one was. <laughs> like yeah, there were like a lot of points in the match where you really did think that that was it, but it wasn't. So yeah, so really just like a lot of near falls in the match. Yeah, and yeah, and the ending was like pretty awesome. Like a uh, like you had like Charlotte on like the turnbuckle going after Rhea, but then Rhea just like a. Uh, uh, smashed uh, Charlotte's head into the uh, ring post, knocking her out, and you, you, she was just, like, lying there motionless, it looked like she was dead, yeah. Well, and I guess I should also say, like, there was also at one point in the match where Rhea Ripley just hit, like, a huge German suplex on uh, Charlotte, and Charlotte actually landed on her face, so, yeah. <laughs> and you could even see, like, her, like, the, uh, the uh, bridge of her nose was actually cut from that, <laughs> yeah. But anyway, yeah, and then getting back to the ending, yeah, like, Charlotte got knocked out when Rhea, like, slammed her head into the ring post, and then, yeah, then Rhea hit her uh, finisher on Charlotte from the turnbuckle down to the canvas and got the win. So, yeah, so Rhea Ripley won the SmackDown Women's Championship. So, yeah, so what really is going to be next for Rhea Ripley? Because isn't the Judgment Day technically on Raw, but now she's won the SmackDown Women's title. So, yeah, so I'm just really, like, uh, wondering, like, what, that is going to happen with the Judgment Day after WrestleMania. Like, because, yeah, of course, like, tomorrow, Finn Balor still has the Hell in a Cell match with Edge. So, yeah, so, just like, and with Dominic losing against Rey Mysterio, but Rhea Ripley winning the SmackDown Women's Championship, like, what is this going to mean for the Judgment Day? Like, what's next for them? And I think that probably, like, we're, there'll still be some more questions about it after tomorrow, after Sammy, uh, Finn Balor's, uh, match with Edge, so yeah, so I'm not really sure what is going to be next for the Judgment Day after WrestleMania, but yeah, this still was like a really, really awesome match right here, and yeah, it was good to see Rhea Ripley win and get kind of like some revenge on Charlotte for the loss a few years ago, yeah, yeah, and then yeah, then after this, then you had like a segment where you had The Miz and Snoop Dogg in the ring, and they announced the attendance for uh, the event tonight. It was a total of uh, 80,497, yeah. Then, yeah, then Snoop Dogg was pretty much just saying how, like, how it would be better if The Miz was actually competing, yeah. Then, yeah, then The Miz was just, like, going on saying how, like, uh, no, he issued an open challenge, but nobody responded to it, yeah. But then, yeah, then we had the appearance of... Uh, Pat McAfee, so yeah, Pat McAfee, once again, making an appearance in the WWE, yeah, then, yeah, then, like, uh, Pat McAfee then uh, took Miz up on the challenge, so yeah, we had this impromptu match with, uh, 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 Pat McAfee and the Miz, yeah, yeah, and it was pretty much just something where, like, uh, Pat McAfee really was just, like, attacking the Miz, then Miz tried to bail, yeah, but then it showed uh, George Kittle from the uh, 49ers sitting in the front row. Then, yeah, then as the Miz, like, shoved him, then, like, uh, he jumped the rail and then went after uh, the Miz. And, yeah, then he pretty much just helped Pat McAfee take down Miz. And then, yeah, then eventually Pat McAfee was able to get the win. So, yeah, so this was just, like, an impromptu match right here. I guess it was just something where they really just, like, found something where they could include Pat McAfee on the show. So, yeah. yeah. So, yeah, so, yeah, this, so, yeah, like I said, this was an impromptu match. So, yeah, so I, I don't count this really as part of, like, my prediction since, like, this wasn't a scheduled match. It was just impromptu. Yeah, but I guess this was just, a, the segment was just fine. Yeah. Then, yeah, then the last match of the night was the uh, match for the Undisputed Tag Team Championship with the Usos defending against Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn. Yeah, and yeah, and this really was, like, a pretty awesome match, too. Like, yeah, I mean, with, like, the whole storyline with, like, the, the bloodline turning on Sami Zayn and also, like, with uh, Jay Uso turning on Sami Zayn, like, there was just, like, a whole bunch of story to this match, yeah, and yeah, and this really was, like, a pretty awesome match, it really did, like, just go back and forth between both teams, like, both teams really got in, like, some huge moves here, and there were a lot of points where you really would, did think that it was gonna end, but it didn't, yeah, just, like, a whole bunch of, like, awesome moments here, and especially, like, the stuff with, like, uh, Sami Zayn and Jey Uso, 
Like, that was really awesome, yeah. And it really did look like at one point how, like, the Usos really were just, like, uh, pretty much just, like, destroying uh, Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn. It really just seemed like they really were, like, just trying to just, like, beat every last ounce of energy out of them. Yeah, they were just, like, surviving a bunch of finishers from each other. Like, they survived, like, a bunch of super kicks. And, uh, like, the Usos survived the stunner from Kevin Owens. And, yeah, just a whole bunch of, like, uh, survivals of finishing moves in this match. Yeah. Then, yeah, then at one point, uh, the Usos drove uh, Kevin Owens through the announce table. Yeah. Yeah. Then, I think, like, uh, Sami Zayn actually did survive uh, the Usos' uh, 1D being the first person to do it. Yeah. And yeah, then when it just it was just seemed like the Usos really were just like trying to just like uh slowly he like beat the life out of Sami Zayn, constantly like hitting him with like a whole bunch of super kicks and stuff. Yeah, but it didn't end. And yeah, Sami Zayn still survived. Yeah, then yeah, then Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn then were covered and were just continuing to attack the Usos. Yeah, then as they. The Usos then were, like, beating down Kevin Owens, trying to just uh, beat him down and finish him off. Then Sami Zayn then, like, was, then came back and they can just continued to fight with the Usos. Then, yeah, then eventually then, like, uh, Sami Zayn then got, like, uh, three of his, like, super kicks in on uh, Jey Uso. Yeah, then uh, uh, Kevin Owens then hit Jimmy with a stunner. And then, yeah, then eventually then... Uh, Sami Zayn then, and eventually then just beat down uh, Jey Uso and then was able to pin him. So yeah, so Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn finally ended the Usos like two year reign with the tag team championship. So yeah, so now Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn are the new tag team champions. Yeah, so yeah, so oh yeah, so it's nice to see that like uh yeah the Usos have now been defeated. He did and yeah and I think that this really does like uh really like put a big hole in the bloodline now because yeah with them losing now like is this an omen of what's to come tomorrow night like will roman reigns be next and will he lose the undisputed wwe universal championship tomorrow night i guess this might be an omen of that for tomorrow night and i guess we'll just have to see what does happen with roman reigns and cody Rhodes tomorrow night to see what this could mean for the bloodline yeah and even like not thinking about waiting for that, like, with uh, the Usos now losing the tag team titles, like, what could this mean for the bloodline? Like, what is Roman Reigns gonna do about this? And especially if he ends up losing uh, the undisputed WWE Universal title tomorrow night, like, yeah, I mean, what's gonna happen if, like, the bloodline loses all the gold? So, yeah, so, yeah, I guess, like, we'll just see what does happen tomorrow night in Roman Reigns' match with Cody Rhodes, yeah? But yeah, it was an awesome moment to see uh, Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens finally defeat the Usos. Yeah. So yeah, so tonight I did do pretty good on my predictions. Like I said, I did go 5 for 7 for my predictions for the matches that did happen tonight. Yeah. So yeah, so as of right now, I'm 5 for 7 and we'll see what happens tomorrow night for the rest of the matches. We'll see how well I do tomorrow night and how I do overall with my predictions. Yeah. But yeah. Tonight for night one of WrestleMania, really did enjoy, like, pretty much all the matches really were, like, very, very enjoyable, and there really was, like, a lot of excitement tonight. And so, yeah, so, was definitely uh, very satisfied with uh, night one of WrestleMania tonight. And so, yeah, so tonight I definitely do give, like, a major thumbs up. Definitely did enjoy night one a lot, yeah. So, yeah, hopefully night two, tomorrow night, will be really great as well, like, yeah, with Triple H running things, I think this is an example of, like, how much excitement Triple H really can, like, add to uh, matches, and it shows that Triple H really does know what he is doing running the company now. Yeah, so hopefully, like, uh, tomorrow night will be, like, very enjoyable as well. So, yeah. So, we'll just see what happens with uh, tomorrow night's matches. All right. But, yeah. So, yeah. So, yeah. So, I guess this is all I can really say about it. All right. So, this is it for my, uh, those are uh, my thoughts on night one of WrestleMania 39 tonight. So, I hope you guys did enjoy what I had to say about tonight. Yeah. And stay tuned tomorrow night where I'll be giving my thoughts on night two. So, yeah. So, stay tuned for my video for night two coming tomorrow night after or night two ends. All right. But, yeah. But I hope you guys did enjoy what I had to say about night one tonight. So, thanks for watching. And I'll see you guys later.